Hi, I'm Christina Camelli, and I'm here to talk about my newest fabric collection with Maywood Studio. It's called Sawaro, and this collection is going to take you to the desert. <laughs> This is very personal for me because I was born in the desert. I grew up in Arizona and after college I moved away. Now I live in the Pacific Northwest where I raise my kids. And uh, like a lot of people, it took moving away from where I grew up to really be able to appreciate how special and beautiful it is there. And now whenever I think of the desert, I just think of all the uniqueness of the the plants and the wildlife, the colors and the glorious warmth of the sun. It's been a long time since I've been able to visit and I miss it so much. And I think because I miss it that I was just pouring my love for the desert into the art in this collection. In the past few years, whenever I travel to Arizona, I come home with dozens and dozens of photos on my phone of the botanicals in the desert. Saguaro and um, other cactus, as well as things like agave and acatillo. They're all so fascinating and different from what I'm surrounded by now. And these photos ended up being the perfect reference photos when I went to create the art for my prints. I named the collection Saguaro, which is the name of some of the largest cactus on earth. And I didn't realize this when I was growing up, but saguaro only grow in a very narrow stretch of the Southwest. Uh, that stretch is called the Sonoran Desert, and they only grow at certain elevations in the Sonoran Desert. So I didn't realize it when I was young, but I was pretty lucky to get to grow up surrounded by these giants and to spend so much time with them as a child. One fascinating thing about saguaros is that they're pretty slow growing. A saguaro doesn't begin to get its first arms until about 80 years old. So if you see one of those saguaros with multiple arms, it's probably well over 100 years old and maybe as old as 200. Kind of amazing. I think saguaros are full of interesting textures and geometry and they provide shelter and food to so many different animals that they are the perfect namesake for this collection. So in the collection, you'll notice I tried to capture the texture of the saguaros and the gracefulness of agaves. I made a nod to the desert sun. You might see something that reminds you of the rhythm of a cholla skeleton. You'll see little barrel cactus. You'll see the scattered stars in the night sky. Now, if you follow my work as a free motion quilter, you know that one of my favorite things is to take lots of little designs and put them together. So one of the prints has some of my go-to free motion motifs in this sort of delicate, airy, open landscape print. So the collection is 28 prints, one set of warmer colors and one set that's cooler. In addition to being in a color palette that is just so invigorating for me, I am really delighted about these little delicate metallic details that we've added to some of the prints. Now, not, um, not all of the prints have metallic samples available, so the photos you're seeing here don't show that part, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what to expect. I think it's very pretty. So one of the coolest things you get to do as a fabric designer is then also design patterns and show people what amazing things can be made with your fabric. And so I did a lot of that for this collection. Uh, let me show you some of the things I have available. I like to design for pre-cuts. Uh, so I'm trying to get something for everybody here. I've got um, one pattern that is perfect for a stack of fat quarters. So if you have a stack of fat quarters, this is the thing to make. This is called Painted Desert. It's a largish throw quilt. This really shows off the full range of the collection. And it has an exciting new shape to work with, which would be fun for intermediate quilters. And if you're as excited about this pattern that I am, you'll be glad to know that we do have kits available for it. I also made a pattern for 10 inch squares. This is Thunderclap. It's a super easy beginner friendly quilt that has nothing complicated about it. It is just fast and fun and modern. I hope you like it. And then there's also a strip roll pattern. I call this one superstition. 
I really love how give, making the background this deeper print from the collection allows this sort of um, fading in and out of the other colors against it. All the quilt blocks in this one are made from uh, flying geese units and the larger block in this quilt is, um, is a modern variation that I came up with based on a traditional quilt block called the coxcomb and I like how it fits the sort of southwestern feel of this collection. I've also designed a free pattern to go along with the collection. This pattern will be available on the Maywood site, or if you want to order kits, those will be available too. This is designed to go with a charm pack. The pattern is called Sonoran Star in honor of the Sonoran Desert. And it's very simple based on half square triangles. It would be a great way to introduce new quilters to quilting um, with a reasonable size baby quilt project, um, if that's the kind of thing that you like to run in your shop. And if you love handwork and smaller projects, I've got you covered. I've got this little English paper piecing pattern for a table runner. I call it cactus flower, and it uses two sizes of diamonds for a really pretty result that where you get to pull in a lot of the different colors from the collection. So I save the best for last here because really the crowning jewel of the whole collection is this quilt that is also named Sawaro. This quilt finishes at 58 by 72. The pattern includes full color illustrations. And it's the first time I've designed a pattern quite like this. And I'm super pleased about how well it showcases the different colors that are in the collection. And I love the modern um, outdoorsy feel that it has. This pattern is available individually or in a kit from Maywood Studio. And I, a lot of people are getting excited about this pattern, so I hope that you are as well. If you've carried my patterns in your shop, thank you. Um, if you haven't seen them before, um, I print my patterns in full color in a little booklet format. And because they have a little hanging hole at the top, they don't need to be put into a plastic bag. So it's my little way of reducing plastic waste. I'd love to hear your inspiration for how you think you'll be using this fabric. I can't wait until it's in my hands and your hands and in your shop. I hope the collection brings some of the warmth and the beauty of the desert home to you. And I hope that you love sewing with it.